All right, so this video I'm going to really quickly go over how to make a triple bypass radiator. I'm just going to say to start with, you're going to be using pretty basic tools, but one of them is an AC-DC TIG, which is not a standard tool. And it shits me to tears when I go on YouTube videos of like, oh, easy way to do this mod, and they've got all these crazy tools that I don't have at home. So, first off, AC-DC TIG is going to be the most expensive thing you need. Other than that, basic garage tools. So basically, triple bypass radiator is a way to get more efficient cooling without making the radiator any bigger. Top end companies sell them like this for like many thousands of dollars. This is an El Cheapo one off eBay and we're going to be doing the mod to make it perform a lot better. This only works on radiators that have the outlets in opposite corners. So something like a Skyline for example, at least I think Skyline has them at the same end, it doesn't work. So what normally happens is the water comes in through one of the top tank, or through the top of the bottom tank depending on your car, fills the top, fills the tank, water flows down one of the like individual bit of water comes in, flows down one of the tubes and then out. What we're going to do is we're going to cut slots into the tanks and weld like a baffle in. We're going to weld one in there and we'll weld one around here somewhere. And what that does is the water that comes in here now is forced, it gets to this baffle and it's all forced down this section and it flows through the top tank, gets to this baffle, is forced up and then it comes back down to this baffle. And what that is, it's a way of ensuring like making the water spend more time in the radiator and have more time to exchange heat with the air properly. So I'm just going to cut the slot with the grinder. Just need to be careful not to cut down too far that we get into the tops of the core. But I'm going to leave it a short on purpose and then the piece of aluminium will cut thinner at the base so it fits down further. Now, ideally you'd want to cut this with a bandsaw because grinding discs like catch in the aluminium and it gets hot and clogs the disc up and it's pretty shit fight to try and cut it, so bandsaw is ideal, but I don't have a bandsaw, so grinder it is. And it's still not on. I've got the slot cut, I'll find a piece of aluminium that fits nicely in there. Oh, it fit a minute ago anyway. So once that's in, I'll just trace around the spot that I need to cut. Now that I've got the edges marked out, I'm going to use the square to extend these lines and try and keep them square to the edge. And after I've done that, I'll just cut these with the grinder to get my blank. Now that we've got this piece cut that fits nicely in our slot, what I'm going to do is just mark a little bit along the edges here, same depth on each side and then cut away that section with the grinder so that this will fit in past our cut and bottom out on the top of the fins on the radiator. Okay, so I've cut the edges out of the aluminium. You can see when I put it in now, even though my slot isn't cut all the way down, the aluminium still fits all the way into the slot up against this hole then the rest of the aluminium piece is in there reaching all the way down to the top of the tank. This way I don't have to like risk cutting all the way down but I still get like a full seal all the way down and around. So all I've got to do now is mark up this edge where I want to cut it, cut that edge off and then it's ready to be welded in. So our piece is cut and filed, it's a nice fit in the slot so ready to weld this one up. Do the exact same thing on the other side and it's done. So we're all done. As you can see, we've now got a weld here and a weld here where our two plates are. So as you can imagine, the water comes in, it's blocked by this plate, it has to go up, it's blocked by this plate, it has to go back down, and then back up and out the outlet. So we're forcing the water through three times. So that's a pretty simple, quick mod, as long as you've got the welder to do it. Yeah, that's it, done. The other thing I just noticed that I never knew is my poo poker thing unscrews and inside it's a pen. That's not how you spell like and subscribe.
Whoops. Subscribe. <laughs> Not even close.